Hey guys, welcome to my new series. Why do I play? Simply as. And in this episode, I'm showing you uh, why I play GTA 5. Now, guys, when I'm making these videos, I have no preparation. I'm just going straight into them off the top of my head. But I think I should be doing okay. Uh, in the background, I just got some uh, GTA Online. Uh, GTA Online game. I think I'm doing um, a, a Titan of a job where I simply have to go to the airbase, take the Titan, and fly it back to Trevor's airfield. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Reasons why I love playing GTA 5, simply guys, is because of its variety. Again, I said this before in my Call of Duty, a lot of games have different variety. This game has your open world, your online, your missions, your side missions, open world, uh, yeah, your little job, your little heist, you can buy things, you can own things, you can sell things, you've got your transfer market, or you should, um... What's it called? Uh, you've got your market where you... Yeah, Wall Street crash type thing. Anyway, um, you've got all that and... There's just so much variety to this game. But not to mention the fact that it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look on the screen now as I'm driving in the car. I mean, the car itself is, is beautiful. Um, this is on my... One of my characters uh, where I've got this car. But look at all the scenery. Everything is in crystal clear 1080p on this video, everything is 1080p, they haven't uh, brought it out for the next gen consoles and I don't think they will be, look at that car flip, I mean, this, the amount of, it's so beautiful this game, the other thing I like to mention is how bizarre it is, I mean, as you just saw then, I just flipped two cars with my own car, you know, it's amazing how funny this game can be and how many different things you can do, I mean, you can destroy things, you can do things that can benefit other people. On GTA Online, if you do good things, you get money for being a good spot. If you do bad things, you can get put into the bad spot servers and get a dunce cap. You know, you can't really go wrong with this game. It's one of those games everybody loves just because of its open environment and how the open world, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Another reason um, is because of the cheats in single player. A lot of people use cheats. I've never really used them because I've not, I thought, I, I think cheats uh, ruin the game. But, you know, a lot of people enjoy the cheats and feel as if they can add a lot more enjoyment onto the game, which I do understand. I've seen a lot of my friends use them before and talk about them. Um, GTA 5 is a massive step up from GTA 4, especially in its graphics. If you look back on GTA 4, we all believe that the graphics were absolutely amazing they couldn't get any better. And GTA 5 is just knocked out of the park. I mean... You you compare the two games and they look completely different. I mean, it's unreal. And um, what what that brings me to is how I like to keep every they keep the small details the same. The uh, all the text they use the same. The fonts they keep the same. The numbers. I mean, they've all got the first. You know, they've all got the GTA logo. They've all got the GTA writing, um, which is very nice. I I like all the writing they use, especially with the streets. I like that the font they use when the when you drive in the streets in single player. Um, it, it's it's very good. Another brilliant thing that Rockstar never seem to fail on is their humor. I mean, guys, you know all the humor. I mean, Simeon at the beginning of the game, I remember laughing my ass off because he, it's just how he says, um, "You won't buy a car off me because you think I'm because you're a racist because I'm an Arab." You know, it's just. You can't believe Rockstar get away with some of these things. It's like the latest South Park Stick of Truth game. The European have got uh, the European restrictments got rid of some of the mini games on it because of the uh, content in it. I mean, you know, it's it's stupid. I mean, what is content restrictions these days? I mean, you know, Rockstar make it so it fits suits both European and American audiences and anyone else in in, in the world. They make it so no one finds it racist. I mean, if people find it racist, Rockstar just simply say, don't play our game. I mean, it's simple as that. I mean, if you don't like something you hear in a game, don't play it. And that's what I love, because all of the GTA games have been funny, slightly racist, homophobic, you know, and it, and it's got a lot of cliches and stereotypes in it, which is, is, is really funny. I don't know if all of you have seen, but the compare GTA 5 to one of the GTA games where... In the first mission, you was a black guy and you had to steal a bike. In this first game, you had you was a uh, you played, um, you played Franklin a, again, another black guy. Not being racist, you know, it's nothing racial about it. But you um, 
you had to steal a car. A lot of people use that type of stereotype. You know, but it's like the whole, you won't buy a car off me because you're an Arab. It also teaches you a lot of things in GTA. It lets you realise how stupid people are being, you know, because there are people in the world who won't buy things off certain people because of their race, and it it shows you what real life can be. I mean, yeah, nobody runs up to random people in the street and shoots them or punches them in the face, but in the cinematics, it teaches you a lot of things, which is what Rockstar like to bring. They like to bring the truth along with its comedy, which which is very hard for a game to do. Uh, even in L.A. Noir, they show you all the, all the violent aspects of what can happen, but they also show you that people will do this. I mean, there are... There are people in the world that do crazy things. But anyway, I'm not going to go too far into it. The reason is I made this video because I'm telling you why I play GTA 5. I mean, guys, look at that. I'm doing a barrel roll in a Titan. You know, it, all the... just the, the world is so huge. And the amount of things you can do in it, you can do hunting. You can do um, assassination contracts. You can buy a taxi service where taxes are free. You can do the... The uh, the market, I still can't remember the name of it, where you buy shares. I know it sounds stupid, but... Um, <laughs> I still can't remember the name of it. Um, but anyway, you can do all these things in GTA, which is what people want from a game. Freedom, basically. The freedom to play what you want, do what you want, when you want. It, it's just amazing. The campaign in GTA 5 is absolutely in, in, just amazing. I'm planning on doing a playthrough of it soon. Um, and it'll be like my third playthrough of it. But this, they have Franklin. Franklin uh, lived on the urban streets and is got wrapped into this. We've got Trevor. Trevor's a psychopath who's in this game. And everybody's favourite character has to be Trevor. And everyone knows.